Hi everyone, we're in the tackle room and uh, I'm here to tell you a little story and uh, a couple of tips that might help you in your fishing and it's about hook lengths. How long should a hook length be and is it different for different species? And I learned a few years ago I was um, about it, it makes the length of the hook length makes a massive difference uh, and to certain species, different species. Um, and I didn't think so years ago, but I do now. And, I, I, and I'll tell you the lesson that I learned that taught me. And uh, it was on the River Tiber. And uh, my favourite river in Numbertini in, in Italy. I just love the place. I don't know, need any excuses to go there. And we were catching chub and an odd barbel. And, and what we were using, we were using uh, uh, pellet feeders and, and filling them with maggots. And what I did, I came back, when I came back, I said to people at Preston, I said, I think we need holes in the back to push the flow or push the, the maggots out quicker. And that's how the hole started then in pellet feeders. And it made a massive difference. Um, anyway, this particular day I'm sat there and I've got, I was using a four inch hook length or a, a 10 centimetre hook length. And, uh, and I was sort of, Casting it in, filling the maggots, putting three maggots on, cast it back out, 16 hook, like that. And I was catching little chub in this match. I couldn't catch any big ones. And the lad below me, they were catching great big ones, two pounders. And uh, they, were, they were like, wow, where are you getting them from? I couldn't catch one. I'm thinking, oh, is it his peg or whatever, like you do. But they were getting too many and I couldn't catch one. And he, I, he gave me a right battery, a right battery and he did. So... At the end of the match, the shouted time, I jumped straight off my box, ran straight down to him, and he spoke quite a bit of English. And he knew why I'd come down. And he looked at me before I said a word, and he went, Pickering, your hook length was too short. And I've gone, no, no, 10 centimetres. Ah, for chub, it is too short. You want 15 centimetres or six inches. And I've gone, no. He went, yes. I went, no. He went, yes. So I've gone back, I've weighed in eight kilos. He's weighed 15 kilos. I don't know whether he won the match or was second. He gave me a right good idea. And of course, I'm like, wow, what, what happened there? So I've come back, everybody's gone off the bank. Angelo's come down and I, he says, come on, we go. And I went, no, 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 I need to do something. Made a, a six inches, 15 centimeter up length, three maggots on, cast it out, it went whoo, two pound two. Chucked it out, it went whoo. Two pound tube. I'm like, mmm. Chucked it out again, it went, whoa, four pound barrel, three casts, eight pound. I went, I can't believe that. And Angelo was going, wow, 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 this. And uh, anyway, the following year, when I went back, I, I fished three or four matches, I won two or three of them by doing this. And I caught a big chub, I caught a barbel. And the, it made a massive difference. And, I, and it, it was like doing me head in at time. Why? I, I couldn't get my head around it. So, of course, me being me, on my way home on the flight, I'm thinking, well, I wonder if it makes a difference with other fish, that, the length of the of, of, of the hook length. Does it make a difference with F1 and carp and bream? When you're fishing this kind of method, like a banjo, a hybrid, or a pellet feeder, does the length of the hook length makes a difference? And let me tell you, I think it does. So... What I've decided now, and after it, it, it took me a while to, to get to the balances that I want, and don't ask me why it works, I have no idea. All I know is it works. I'm not one of them that analyses things. I might do the works or it don't. And this is what I've come, come up with. And you can probably see that there. There's four hook lengths there. That one is three inches or seven and a half centimetres. That one is four inches, which is 10 centimetres. That one is 12 and a half centimetres or five inches and that one is six inches which is the one that we're catching or 15 centimetres that is the one that we're catching the maggots on and this is what i've come up with providing the fishery allow you to do this because obviously some fisheries have they have different uh, uh, length restrictions of hook length short and long some are four inch and, and some have less and some don't have any you can use any so this is what I think is the best. If I'm fishing for F1s, my experience tells me now that a three inch up length is miles better. Three inches. Does it want to be any shorter? Only on smaller fish. Smaller F1s than it, than it can be. But if you're using uh, that type of feeder, uh, flat base feeder, use three, for F1s only three inches. For carp, it's four. 
So if I go to places like Lindome, where it's F1s and carp, I use a four inch up length because I find that they can suck it in better. I don't know why, I don't know why it is, but when I'm fishing for bream on, a, on, a, on that type of feeder, I found five inches is better. I don't know whether it's the way they feed, whether they tip up and do that, I don't know, but a five inch hook length is better. So if I'm only catching skimmers, I put a five inch hook length, and trust me, it makes a huge difference. I don't know why, I don't know why. And then when I'm fishing for barbel and chub, uh, not so much this country, but when I go abroad, because we don't do this kind of fishing much uh, in this country, if I'm fishing for chub, 15 centimetres, 6 inch up length. But look at the difference in, in like, between the 3 and the 6. There's a massive difference. Now, when I were catching these chub, these small chub, that's the length that I were using. And by extending it by 2 inches, it made a massive difference. I don't know why. It must be something to do away the feed. Do they just come in and pick it up, just suck it off the bottom and enter a club? So these are the hook lengths that I work round now. I work round the three, four, five, six inch hook lengths. And trust me, I think that that makes a huge difference. Listen, it don't, it's not always, the rule. it's not always works this way. But let me tell you, my experience now tells me that them, the four hook lengths that I use when I'm fishing a pellet feeder, a, a hybrid feeder or a method feeder. I think that that makes a difference. Now, I know most people, a lot of people just put one on, just put a four inch on straight away. Not, not many people are versatile to try that different thing. But next time you're going fishing, just try them different lengths of hook lengths. And it doesn't matter, really matter about the hook base, what you put on, that's what the fish want. You, well, you've got to work that out that the fish want the hook baits that you, that you, that they want. It's as simple as that. The length of that makes a massive, massive difference. So, just to recap, if I'm just catching F1s, I use a three inch up length, if the fishery allows it. If I'm fishing for carp, it's four. If I'm fishing for, like at Lindome for carp and F1s, I use the four. When I'm fishing for skimmers and bream, a five. And when I'm fishing for chub and barbel, I use a six inch up length. That's on a, on a method feeder, on a pellet feeder, or a hybrid feeder. I hope that little tip helps, it's just something that I've, I've come across and I learnt a valuable lesson by getting smashed up in Italy uh, on the River Tiber. I hope, that, I hope you like that, I hope that helps.